press it early. I'm going to press all the buttons early and we're going to go going now, aren't we? Good. That's off. If you see me twice, that's double trouble for you. There's <laughs> Bill. So we're going to do what people do when they were stealing my beams and taking them to the weight room, guys. We're going to use the power of the beams for our strength. So when I do my legs with my band, I'm using my, I'll be using my black one for definite, okay, for the, for the little bit. But just the arms and that, I might keep that one size fits all, but might increase. So if you will have time if you want to change your resistance on your bands to flip from one exercise to the other one, okay? Good <laughs> stuff. Right, now anybody wanting to come down to Cornwall for, I don't know about Devon, Cornwall for bank holiday, you're quite welcome. But apparently, there's raging storms forecast. The seas are going to be so heavy with the swells on the beaches. Nobody's allowed on the beaches. And right on the border, I've just heard on the news, big news flash, a pack of rabid man-eating sheep have escaped from some sort of animal farm and they can't get <laughs> back in. Otherwise, <laughs> not, you're quite welcome to all come down for the weekend and have a good time. <laughs> Snakes and locals. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we like people coming down here. Oh, we do, yeah. Yeah. Lover, loverly. <laughs> okay, so let's go through I'll go through names before the change. Me, Christine, Linda, Nicola, Viv, Andrea, Annabelle, Anne, Bill, Diane, Kerry, Tracy, Wayne, um, Beebs. Well done, Chris. She, Christine's just adopted about 60 million bees. She's looking after 48 <laughs> beehives. If you want money, guys, you know who to email. Get the orders in. Okay? All right. Going to meet you down. Oh, here's Sally. Get Sally in. Good stuff. We can tell. I thought it was Friday all day today. I have to send you a text this morning. So we're going to go through the beam. We're going to do our warm-up stuff like that. We'll do a little bit on the beam. Then we'll do our band exercises. So it'll be a lot slower than what's been done recently, but intense. It's intense because we're on the beam. And then we'll put the bands down and we'll finish off with one or two sequences to finish off a beam fit the way we normally do it, okay? But no fast, furious, front sides, left, and all that sort of stuff, okay? And don't hear the little voice in the background. So what you put in the place, like what we had on Monday, we won't have that, okay? Muting you down, guys. Took you to the vets. That's done, that's done, that's pressed. That's on there. We've got a full house. Feet either side of the beam while I almost trip over mine as I walk backwards. And orange and green doesn't go with the red beam. I know, but I don't care. All right. Okay, so don't text me about the way I'm dressed later. In steps alongside the beam, guys. Just touching the side of him where we always start. And before we move, let's get a breath in. It's Thursday, we're all still here. Take the hands up and out. Where else would we go? Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Some of you are making lots of plans for the future, which is good to hear. Fantastic confidence return and squish those hands back out. Good. Turn up, rotate. Inhale. Exhale down to the heart. Thumbs just touching the heart. Feel that heartbeat, guys. Relax it there. Next time the thumbs will be high. Squish them out. Turn them up. Breathe in. Exhale to the heart. Elbows high. Did I say thumbs high? I don't know. Push in three seconds, go. Two, three, hook the hands over, pull apart, go. Two, three, arc the hands down, hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders back, then rotate them forwards. And remember, if ever we do a, less, a, a session like we did on Monday, not only I managed to do that nail quick, but they are a bit stiff, so tight, or you've got a tight muscle or whatever, whatever it is, been doing the gardening, knitting jumpers for the bees and the fingers are aching, whatever it is. Text me and say, Tug, I've got this. Can we do a stretch for that? And you know it'll get done, guys. In steps alongside the beam, and let's get those toes going forwards and to the rear. I'm not your fitness instructor. I'm your guide. This is your class. And when you come for request weeks, every, every session is request one. Every so often, it's, Tug, can we put this one? Can we do that? And I always put them in there for you guys, okay? Forwards and to the rear. You only have to ask. There. Let's right, relax it out. If you've got a bit of an injury, remember the clinics are there for you guys only. We do a 20-minute set online, even when 
life returns back to whatever normal is. Because we're virtual like this, that 20 minute clinic for you to have a chat with us and see what we can help you out with. That's already there for muscle tears or strains or whatever. Good. Hips coming to the forward, butt out to the rear. Nice and gently, not, not strict full distance. Gently ease it forwards, gently put your butt out to the rear. As we're doing that, think 30% pelvic floor and abs. Let's keep rocking and rolling with that one. You didn't see the thing I put on this morning, it's about a regular earthquake warning in England as we all rush for our beams every single Thursday. Hips forward, butt out to the rear, and particularly to the rear now, I'm starting to bend forwards more from the hips, taking the chest down to the floor. In some weeks, I look pretty cool doing this, even though I say it myself, but most weeks, I'm staying all over the place on my heels, and I don't get the chest down nice and smoothly. But every so often, we look good, don't we? There we go. All the way down, nicely down, looking like a status quo concert. Fantastic. Tipping it down. And now bring the chest back up. Good. And there. So I went online today because they're the Eden Project. They've got Brian Adams coming along. I've always wanted to see Brian Adams. But at £137 a ticket, I come offline rather sharpish, okay, guys? I don't care where he's playing. Good grief. I want to watch the man not buy his band off him and his guitar. Roll those heels up. Roll the heels up. Good. Imagine you string out the chest, up towards the ceiling, top of the head. Feel that's getting nice and tall. It's about now where you start thinking, hang on, my balance doesn't feel quite right today, okay? But at least just focus and focus and drop the heels down and bring the hands back towards me and shoulder height to the front. And we've got that going. We know we've started because we're getting all the body going. With all the body going, we can get ourselves, get the muscle memory in, get the focus. And off we go. Every single fitness session you do, guys, is never going to get better and better and better each one. We always have the bad days. We have the parts where we feel like you're not going to get anywhere. And all of a sudden, the bar raises and goes up again. As a group, it does that every few weeks. And I'll tell you when that's happening. Looking good. Keep it to there. Push the hands to the rear as far as you can. Let the hips bend forwards. Good. Oh, I've got a left crunchy shoulder thing going on. As it goes to the rear. Good. And now, so I start taking up towards the ceiling, relax the elbows, put those imaginary building bricks we use in our hands, there, and push the hands to the rear now. Open the fingers up as well. Open the fingers up, stretch the fingers. Good, there, really take it back. Wanna go so far back, we feel it up here in the pecs as we swing the arms back. Up we go there, there, open the top of the lobes, top lobes of the lungs working super hard. Now start slowly straightening the hands up. Straighten them up, then try and touch the ceiling. Reach up, still roll the, foot, the feet forwards. Try and touch the ceiling. And now build the bricks in the hands and take them actually to the ceiling and then to the rear. And look how it stretches out below the rib cage now. Right at the diaphragm area. Pulls the waistline in, full 360. So it's a fantastic exercise do because we like that one. Back down to shoulder height. Two for the price of one. We know what that means. Gently dip it forwards there, guys. That's the first big control when we dip forwards, past the ball of the foot to the toes, and think a gentle pause and back, pause and back. Now push those hands to the rear all the way. I bet they weren't. Get the rotator cuff going all the way to the rear. Because we can't bend forward from the hips, the shoulder will work a little bit harder. Three, two, one, and a pause. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart, gently pause and hold it there. Nice little bit of focus. Pointy fingers to the front. At the same time, concrete trousers on. Mine are purple concrete trousers tonight. And I'm going to go my right finger, I think. Here we go. Three times either side. Tightness in. Left side of my neck. I'm going to bring that back. Only a little bit, could have went a lot further. We all know that, but we're not going to force it. It's mobilized the spine and we bring it back. Will I be able to go a bit further this time? I reckon I could. Yep. Now it's in the shoulder. The neck thing has gone. Take this one around. Good. That way, yes. One more either side. Now the arms can start feeling a little bit heavy right now. That's the gravity. Oh, I've got a long way with that one. Bring it back. If you're ahead of me, just rest, guys. Take a big deep breath in. 
I've done that one. If you're one behind, it doesn't matter. Don't miss out the mobilizations. Drop the hands down to the side, gently shake the hands out to the side and lean over left or right there, stretching the waist on the feet. A lot of people in life, including gym bunnies, whatever you call them, they'll think this is a side bend and it stretches the waistline. You know it doesn't. And to get a proper stretch down here, you know the position of the hands and how we can actually take it next level with the arm. This is mobilization of the spine, bring it back up and over the other way. Good. The knowledge you guys have compared to what a lot of other people have is vast, guys, and you also know your, your body a lot better as well and how it works. And a lot of that can come from with it being how we do it virtually, bring it back upwards. We're not in a group, so when we're like this, you're just relying on yourself and you're on your own platform here. You've got nobody to watch or copy as humans do all the time, okay? So you're learning all the time, you're focused as well. Let's get onto the beam, all the tape, nice straight line, drop the heel over the back. I've got to use, because sometimes we have class phone, everybody's got the beams, and I forget about the people later on who are recording or gonna watch and catch up, and they've got the tape. Okay, I've got my right leg to the front. Let's get in, let's focus on no hangovers if we can. Nice straight line shooting at the front of the beam. Three steps front and rear, off we go. One, two, three, and back three, and two, and a one. That's feeling better. Good, there. Rolling the heels forward. I know it's the stuff we talk about all the time, but we have to roll those heels. If we don't, we get too blase, and that's when we stop getting the good effect out of the beam and stop releasing the full power, and we don't get to our maximum potential. That's the focus. Balance, engagement with the core, align with the spine. We do the move, and in there also is a concentration. One more time to the front. One, two, three, to the rear. Three, two, one. Look fantastic, feel fantastic. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart, squish them out. You're all graceful, rotate around. You weren't a year ago, you are now. Turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish them out. Bring it back around to me. Gymnasts do it, guys. Arc those hands down. A nice gentle shake out and a switch back, swap the feet over. All of that posturing, up, down, taking the hands out, thinking arcs, being graceful all part of the power and control of the body and looking good. Okay, itchy left leg, itchy forehead. You know what that means. Three step beam walks this side, off we go. One, two, yes, and back three, and two, and one, good. When you get a gliding effect, when you're having a good night on the beam, you feel like you're gliding down it. And the beam, it's like, it's like about, it's about four or five foot wide. You don't get any hangovers there and back. Two more at the front, one, Two, three, to the rear, three, and two, and a one. One to the front, one, two, there, and back, three, and two, and a one. Remember how difficult that itself used to be as an exercise. Take the hands up and out, turn those palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish those hands out. It's a rotation round, looking fantastic, feeling fantastic, breathe in. Exhale to the heart, squish the hands out, bring it back round to me. Arc those hands nicely down, give them a shake out. We're going to do some simple moves on the beam, guys, to get the body opened up, get it working, and get some little few stretches in, all right? Swap the feet over, switch back. Okay, good. That's the second itch on the leg. I've got to buy two lottery tickets tonight, force into it. Let's adjust that there. Okay, lead leg work. We're going to step out, right leg to the front, slide it back on the beam. After a while, we'll induce the arms. Hands to the hips, or anywhere where you want to. Three, two, one, step normal, slide back. Just step in normal, step normal, and back. Land on the heel, roll the foot forward, and slide back. There, good. Last normal, next one's long. Off we go there, step longer, and slide back. Longer, and slide back. Come up on the back toe as well as you come forwards, and slide. Last one for a pause and slide. Hands to our sternum. Normal steps, lead leg work. Let's bring those hands out to our angel wing position. Normals, go. There, slide. There, slide. So you want to hear that sliding noise on the beam, on your tape. After this one, step long. Off we go. 
long and there. So what's my chest? There. It's coming towards like the bows of a ship coming out the ocean. There we go. There. Hands go back. And two more. Step. And back. And last one. Step. And back. Squish the hands out. Rotate round, guys. Got to click somebody in. Back towards me. Good stuff. Switch back. So up in the feet. Oh, I've got your back in, Sally. If you have problems, I'll send you the catch-up link. All right, this side then, guys. Hands anywhere where you want to. I'm putting mine on my hip. Normal steps, go. Step, slide. Step, slide. So I'm coming up on the toes on both feet, and then I slide it back there. And they're both working together. So step, toes, slide. Step, toes, slide. One more, step, Toes and slide and hold. Long step. Off as long as longer than your normal step. That's long. Go. Step on toes and slide. I just held that one, didn't I? And back. Good. But I got no hangovers. That's better. Got it out and going now. There. Got my eye in now. Two more of these. Roll and back and roll and back and hold. It's easier using the hands. Here we go. Normal steps and out and back and there. And you're gonna feel better because we're using all of the body, bring the hands out as the arms come out. We're saying, look at me, welcome to my little circle here. Step into my little zone, there. One more of these, then it's long step. That's a normal, now it's long, here we go. Long and back and long. And back, that's it. Now we can see the chest coming forwards. It's going up with our imaginary string. And it's looking like I can see lots of white eyeballs coming towards me at the same time. Curl them back. Good. I can scare you before you scare me. Back. Two left. There's one. And slide. Good control. Two. Slide and hold. Squish those hands out. Rotate round. Turn the hands up. Breathe. Exhale down, squish those hands out, back round to me, and arc it down, guys, and give it a shake out. Step away from the beam, get your little sip of water. I know some of you do. Let's get that one in, give it a shake. Next week on the class on the beam, I want to try something different and beam lost and beam fit. I'm thinking of putting some music on for 20 minutes, keeping my mouth zipped, and just doing routines and seeing how far we get just watching us and following each other along. Okay, I'll follow you, you follow me. We'll see how we get on. Maybe. Just thinking about it right now. Back to the beam. Okay. We're keeping the lead leg work going. This time we're going to dip to the front. Okay. Normals, then long ones. We'll stay down there on the very last long one. Only the one time. How far down? That's your decision, guys. Hands straight to the sternum. Normal steps first. Here we go. It's a dip and slide. And a dip and slide and that is looking really good well done that's because we worked up to it there that's my last one now i'm going along long and so the back knee is just kissing the beam and i'm coming back and get the chest forward chest forward leave the chest and slide fantastic slay and a slide three more here we go one and back and two and back, we're staying down there. Here we go, there, and a hold. You deserve a clap, guys. Fantastic, well done. Rotate round we go. Hold, turn the hands at this position and breathe. Exhale, oh, that's difficult. Squish those hands out, bring it back round to me. Good, no messing about this evening. Roll those hands back to our feet with a slide. One, two, three, and go. And there, remember, keep that gracefulness. As you come down, arc the hands down, Little fingers touch and the foot stop stops there. These control the hand. Switch back, get the feet over. Good. I'm frothing at the mouth already. My body thinks it's fr Friday. I've got that crunchy feeling. <laughs> Stuff. Hands to our sternum. Same this side. No, not be different repetition will be different, but the same exercise. Normal steps first with dip. Off we go. There. And you might find your normal step is actually. A little bit longer because the arms are coming out. Just get in 
with the flow. My back knees is gently touching the beam, staying in control all the way. Arms come out, graceful and back. Fantastic, good stuff. And there, last normal, then it's longs. Here we go, it's out. And straight away, yes, I see all the chest come forward, guys. Heads are up, posture's looking fantastic. Good. Off we go, there. And you know what, I like this one so much. I could do another 25, 20 minutes of this. Can we finish after that? Keep it going there. Three left, then we're gonna stay underneath the one, and back, and two. Good. Here we go, and I'm there. Everybody's getting down quicker. Rotate round we go. Hold. Turn hands up, breathe. Oh, that's difficult. Exhale the heart. Squish. Back to me. And two our feet. That was hard, that one, wasn't it? Three, two, and one, go. Up we come. And we're there. Step away from the beam. Brilliant. What a start. I may keep this one. Is it going to be a keeper? Let's see how we get on. Black band, guys. Here we go. Because you can take this to the band that you have really got a lot of resistance on, we'll be doing five repetitions, okay? Those of you who do Wednesday Resist class know exactly what we're doing for, for okay? Working heart, muscle strength and endurance, but we're on the beam. So if this was equivalent to 20 pounds of weight on the beam, it's probably double or treble, guys, all right? That with it works through the core. So I'm gonna have my left foot to the front, stand in the middle of the band, little teaser, tester, make sure I'm in the middle, good. Okay, we just do lead leg work and going down to get balanced on the beam, so let's dip it down, elbows underneath, and then stand. Good, you can raise resistance by taking the elbows out as well as putting more bands on we're going to dip down nice and gently now watch the timing here we go one two and two one that's it there so down we go bottom out and back up and there good one two and down and back up i've lost count already let's do two more down we go there you can't count to five i'm just excited down we go there good and back up and hold. Now dip it down, arms out and change over feet. So when we come to do the next five, that's when we need to be increasing that resistance, all right? Even by a little bit each time, I'll be bringing my elbows out. I may put another band on, all right? Here we go, dip it down, good control all the time on the beam and standing. Those of you who do this on Wednesdays, look how much extra focus you've got because you want to be. Ready? Same speed, dip. Down we go. Back foot comes up on the toe and stand straight up. That's it. Good. And nicely down. Is this a lunge or a one legged squat? Does it matter? Take it down. That's the third one. Good. We've got a good, that's a good timing. Down we go. And back up. One left. Dip it down. And stand. And pause, good posture. Now dip down, elbows out, step away, roll it round. Put your yellow band on first if you're going to take the bands up, guys, or you're going to bring your elbows out, okay? Good. And heart rate still up, respiration is still up. Why? Working big muscles and we've got resistance going on. Okay, left foot in the band. I'm bringing my elbows up. Got to focus, it's five reps, I'm sweating already. And we're burning lots of calories with this one, so we like that, don't we? LBTs, legs, bums and tums, body sculpting, muscle toning, and stand. Good. I bring my elbows up, my hands might come together, that's okay. Increase my resistance. It's five, here we go. Dip. Now you might reach your maximum, that's fine. We're doing three sets of these, down we go. And back, good. Strength and conditioning. This changes your body shape, guys, if you want it to. There, it's better than cardiovascular. Down we go, one more. Dip it down, there, and back up. Pause and hold. Now dip 
out and step away. And the fantastic thing we're using the bands is, if we've got too much resistance on, we can quickly reduce it back down again, all right? I'm gonna swap my feet over, right one to the front, step in, I do a little tester every time, make sure my foot's in the middle, nice and happy, focus, dip down, elbows, stand, whoop, there we go. Now I increase my resistance to here, hands come together, fantastic, looking good guys, go, dip, and back. So why this speed? Why aren't we going fast? Because we are using stronger bands. We increased our resistance there and back up. Good. And down we go there and back. And it's one more. It's a dip and a stand and good posture hold. Now dip down, elbows out and off we go. Okay. I'm putting another band on here guys, the last one my elbows won't go much higher. Just, I don't want to get stuck like you're walking around all day with my elbows pointing towards the ceiling. We don't want that. Okay. And between each one, we're not rushing. When we do one band for all, one next exercise, next exercise. We have a bit more recovery time. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We'll put this one to bed. Left foot's in, little tester, dip it down, good focus, concentration, comfortable with the hands, stand, oh, that's got it, that's a lot. I'm gonna put it down and watch you do this one. Hits five, go, one, and up. If you have to go a bit slow, because you put one, that's fine, and two, really work in this one there, good. Full body workout, guys, all the muscles working, including the brain cell between the ears, and your normal brain down we go. Two left, dip it down, good, and a stand, and one more, dip, and up, and hold, good, dip down, underneath, step away, shake everything out, including that grip, get the hands going, wiggle those fingers about, okay? Now I've got my hand grips, my ankle grips happen to be on the red band there, if you use an ankle grip, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Right foot's in the beam. Again, I'm not gonna rush it, got the teeth to test it, that's good. Good grip, dip it down, hold and stand. Oh, that feels good. Back's got a good workout. It's five, down we go. One, and back, and two. Good, excellent, nobody's rushing it, fantastic guys. Same speed, there's three. A count, I know I'm not gonna get lost. And four, and back. Last one is five. It's back up and hold. Now dip it down, elbows underneath, and step away. I'm coming back down to my black band, getting rid of that blue one, and easing it off. Good. Where's the blue one? There he is. Fantastic. Good. Posture exercise next. We like those, don't we? All right, put your band down for a second. We're gonna release that spine. We're gonna do it beam fit way, okay? Onto the beam, right leg front, left foot behind. Hands to this thigh. Beam Lattes guys did this in the week, didn't we? There. Inhale, it's a little bit of a semi bicycle chain. Exhale, chin to the chest and slide the hand down the front of the body. Keep that front leg straight and take your fingers as far as you can down. Just keep it working down and hold. Big deep breath in. Exhale, slowly back up. Think posture, shoulders back. Step forward one. Same this side. We're releasing down the back, guys. Just been working hard. Draw the hands to here. Breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, slowly sliding down the leg, pushing the hands in, extra balance on that. You're making it look easy. Oh, that's a good one. Inhale, exhale, recovery or reset. Slowly coming upwards, shoulders back. There, good. Let's pick up the beam. Nothing wrong with doing a stretch between exercises, guys. In fact, it's almost recommended, Perfons. 
Pilates, Matt Pilates, you know, we do that one a lot. Okay, here we go. My left foot is into the band. It's an overhand grip holding the handles to there and we're doing an upright row. So just demonstrate, it's there and back down, okay? We're doing six of these, we're ready? Go, one and two, good, three and four, excellent, five, good elbow position, good parallel arms, six, it's there, good, and rotating it back to there. Again, when is there this class? We do this one on the floor. Look at the difference on the beam, guys. Intensity is up there, isn't it? Putting them together. Here, ready? With the leg, go. One. And we're actually going to do less exercises, but you're going to be more powerful and just as much energy and energy used. There, expended. There. I think that's four. One more. Here we go. And five. And back down. Let's shake it out. I'm doing two of these either side. I'm going to put my red band on here. Why not the yellow? Because the yellow one is it's not here. It's hanging on the door in the kitchen. So I put my red one on. Otherwise, it'd be the yellow. Same exercise. So you want to increase. That's what we're doing. If you don't, that's fine, guys. Remember, we're all working to our levels now. That's how we progressed as far as we can or have, not as we can, we're still taking it further. And that's how we all work together as one unit. Good. If ever you haven't, guys, it's worth every so often, just ask me to send you a link and actually watching the class work. If you've never done it before, you look really good, all right? There. You prove that this stuff works, all right? You're ambassadors for it. Off we go. Last ones. We're gonna do six this side. Go. One. And back, oh, that's tough, isn't it? One and two, really got to work this one now. And three, and but why did I say six? I should have said five, four, and back. Who's in charge? And there's five. This one's for luck, and here we go. Right up there and hold, and release it back down. Shake those shoulders around, guys. Rotate the cuff once it, and we're gonna swap it over. Other foot in. We're gonna stretch out the rotate the cuffs in a second, all right, okay. All right, not saving it till the end. We want to get the stretches in. Muscles working hard. That's balanced off. Good posture, string, knees, pelvic floor, abs. Go. One. And back. And two. Looking good. You've motivated me again to go and throw the rubbish out. You know it's Thursday. Thank you. Four. <laughs> and back. And five. I've got to work this one. Here we go. Up to six and hold and back down again. Taking it away, guys. I'm taking my red band off. Once I've done that, we're going to get these shoulders opened up. There we go. That's to one side. All right. Bring the hands to here. When we breathe out, it's a Saturday morning one. Take the hands to the rear. Breathe in. Exhale. Take the hands to the rear. Open that chest up. Far as we can and hold. Normal breathing. The hands will dip down a bit. Breathe in again. Exhale, take them to the rear. Good. Next exhalation, bring them to the front. Inhale. Exhale all the way to the front. Next exhalation, switch off the muscles. Push the arms forward and tickle each other's noses. Inhale. Exhale, push the arms forward. Two. One. Relax it down. And circle them around, guys. Three times one way, three times the other. Rotator cuffs will be thanking you for that one. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, on to the beam. This is, again, two handles. My left foot is in the front, and we're doing both. You know a little story in this one? Ladies say, I don't want big muscles to and I say, you can't get big muscles, and I can't get pregnant, okay? Body toning. We're going to get the triceps at the same time because we're on the beamer's bands. Arms to there is two-handed bicep. Off we go. Five. One. Back. Two. So it's not going all the way down. It's just going to where the bands ease off fully. Three. And four. Look at the abs working. That's because we're on a beam. There's five. And back down again. Swap the feet over. 
all these exercises then, it's a demonstration of why the beams were found in weight rooms, because you're working the full body core all the tell the while, guys. Ready? This side, five, go. One. Have you noticed how fast the clock is ticking? I don't believe it. Three, I've got to check the one on the screen as well there. There's four, good. I've just come up with another 16 different exercises. There's five. I'm back down. I'm going to step away. I'm going to add my red band on here, guys. This is why we're doing five reps. Sometimes we do 15, sometimes we do 12 with a lighter band. Good. About now, you're going to start feeling pretty awesome, right? Because all the work you've been doing, the body's working hard and it's ready to go doing heavier, meaner things because you are the class, remember, who is going to beat that guy up with a sledgehammer, a golf club, put your hands through a screen and strangle him. I know that, I'll never forget it, okay? <laughs> Five, last one's this side. Ready? Go. One, there. And two, fantastic. And three, good. And four, and back. And last one is five, and back down, and swapping it over. Good stuff. It's in good control, good movement. The other thing the beam does is it puts you into natural lifting position. Your knees won't be locked out. Your ears, shoulder tips will be in line. Your body's nice and a good lifting, but it's all protected, okay? Touch your feet on the floor doesn't always happen. Ready? Yes. Go. One. And back. Look, the abs working. Two. Down the spinal column. That H shape. The corners of the body. There's three. Good. And four, and back. And there's five, and back to here. Put the bands down, guys. That was fantastic. It is, it's right. I don't believe this. I thought we were halfway through. I took my eyes off the clock. But we got all the exercise in I wanted to. I was looking for some bonuses. Used the beam, got warmed up, did some new moves on there as well. Fantastic with the bands. Bring the hands out, guys. Ready? Did I press the button? Let me go. More. There. Good. Two here. Quick, quick, quick. We're going to get this in. Yes. One, two, three. Make a big noise. Go. Yes. Fantastic. First beam pitch session we've done like that. Let me know how you feel, guys. Fantastic. Good stuff. I enjoyed it. Be safe. Worm catches tomorrow. Surprise me all. <laughs> Good. Bye, Christine. Well done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>